welcome to the Sombra Meta. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Salosa, and Sombra has been buffed on live from PTR. So on PTR, she had a whole host of changes. I covered these in the previous video. What I'm going to show you in this video is the way this works. Like, watch poor Tor. Like, he's dead. He's deleted. There was a lot of headshots there, sure. But that is because the weapon spread has been reduced. This Sombra is extremely deadly. You see that, AC Zen? Zen had no chance to react there when I hacked him. This is the thing, right? Sombra is, uh, yeah. When you see Sombra on your team now, it's not a throw, right? I'm not saying she was a throw before, but it, it, it really isn't. She's super duper powerful. She can invis, she can run into the back line. She can basically do whatever the hell she likes. And in this video, I'm going to show you why this is so powerful and just why everybody is at the moment raving about Sombra being maybe a little bit too OP. These are initial knee-jerk reactions, though. Everybody's like, oh, God, she's too OP. What's going on? So we are going to have to give this a little bit of time to settle in. But I think the writing is on the wall. Check this out. So this is Anna. This is a typical thing you would do with the new Sombra. You would run into the back line and you would go, oh, there is Anna. I am above Anna. There is no possible way that in 0.6 seconds, Anna can scan her surroundings, find out where I am, attack me to interrupt my hack or use an ability to get away from the hack. There are only a few heroes who can do this. Uh, Tracer can do it, for example, if she's got her recall up, but I don't think you'd ever be hacking a Tracer because what Sombra is about now is hacking the right target and there is no counter really to the right target. So if you hack a Zen, basically any of the supports like this, when they're in the back line, run in and hack them. They can't do anything to you and you can literally have your dastardly way with them. This is the most powerful thing about Sombra. Forget weapon spread and all of that. Check this out. Watch this. So I hack her. She's basically screwed now. She can't do anything. So then I just kill her. It, it's like, it's crazy powerful. But not only that, check out the EMP because it's still the same. And actually, EMP is better because you can no longer hide behind small things like lampposts and objects like that. EMP will wreck you. But EMP is still one of the best initiation ultimates in the game. And I, you know what? I honestly believe some of these buffs coming to Sombra might be a result of uh, Brigitte, 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 Brigitte. I cannot say the name of that goddamn hero. Why Blizzard? Do you introduce things I cannot say? I'm just going to say Bridget, but I will correct myself at some point in the future when I learn how to say a name. Uh, she's got a shield. Sombra has been hacked. Sombra can wreck shields. So maybe that's why Sombra has been buffed to sort of remove maybe more shield play, although we believe her shield is more of a personal shield. Anyway. Let's rein this back into Sombra. So, what we've got is more damage from Sombra. Your invis is the same. Your translocator is an extra five seconds, which means you can, you know, spend more time working out what to do. As you'll see here in the footage in the background, which is running, like you see McCree just got like a, an awesome load of kills. Uh, this is, I think this is quick play, this one, yeah. This one's quick play, but I have been playing some um, off-season competitive. Team comps are not the greatest. Also, balancing the games are a bit weird. Like, you'll get top 500s and also diamonds in the same game and things like that. It's a little bit weird. Um, but it is... Um, uh, actually, no, they might actually have the top 500 MMR. They might have just decayed. That's why they're dying. But who cares? It doesn't really matter. Team comps are sort of a bit crazy. Um, so it's not, like, the most optimal way to test this out, in a sense. But what we know is that Sombra is going to do more damage. She can... Uh, pick her targets easier when she's uh, in the back line because she's got an extra five seconds on translocate. And when she hacks people, well, the hack is supremely powerful. So when I look at my notes here, if you hack Lucio, right, Lucio cannot change his song, his songs no longer work, and he cannot wall ride. All Lucio can do is try and attack. So that means Lucio is the... You can just hack Lucio and run away. You don't even need to kill him. You've basically killed him by hacking him. You hack Zen, he can't apply his orbs. Zen's still going to be kind of deadly, though, because he can still attack you back. You hack Mercy, well, she's pretty screwed. You hack Anna, she can't use a sleep, she can't use a nade, so she's got no protection. She's such an easy target to kill, because all Anna can do is primary fire at you and hope that she hits you, like, what, three times to kill you? It's not going to happen. Or is it four times to kill you? Uh, whatever. She's not going to be able to kill you, right? No, it's three times, is it? She's not going to be able to kill you, right? You're just going to kill her. And you can translocate away. I think my issue with this Sombra, right? And, and like I said, this is very early, early days. We're going to need to see how this plays out because we haven't really worked out a way to play against this Sombra just yet. Is It is quite easy to run into the back line and hack somebody. I am not the best Sombra player. In fact, I don't have much Sombra playtime at all. Yet, 
playing in the off-season competitive and playing in quick play, I felt like I was... Um, how can I say this? I felt like I was having a greater impact for less... Uh, I don't want to say skill, but it, it wasn't taking me much effort to get a very high return out of this hero playing it this way. It's kind of similar to the way Mercy was, right? Where Mercy basically, well, because of a res, she meant it was a 6v7, right? If she was on your team and not on the enemy team. Obviously, now she's changed, so she's more different. Uh, and she's, like, more balanced in a sense. And also, she takes more skill to play, which is why I always say, if you get a Mercy main on your team, they're damn good players. Sombra, I feel, is going the other direction. A very good Sombra player before was a very good player. Like, because Sombra was hard to use. But you had to also convince your team. So to be a good Sombra player, you had to have good communication because you needed your team to work around the, the, the hacked health packs to charge your EMP. Then you needed to coordinate when EMP goes in, right? So a lot of co a communication there um, and a lot of really good player for Sombra player. Now you can just, like, hack a pack, throw your translocator down on it, invis into the back line, hack a support, kill it. Or hack a support attack somebody else, or don't even bother hacking, just start firing at people. Because I think that is probably one of the most underrated aspects of this Sombra, is she does do quite a lot of damage now. When you're firing at people, you've got 60 bullets in this cliff. You can just, like, keep firing and keep firing and pump the damage in. You can see here, I'm doing quite a bit of damage here. Like, it's not, it's not insane, but it's good damage. It's not Tracer-level damage. It's not Soldier-level damage. It's not McCree-level damage, right, if McCree was landing this hit. But it's really, really good damage. And it's not that much worse, if you get what I'm saying, guys. She is a... Wow. She is mega powerful, Sombra. It's like mega, mega, mega powerful. Um, it's going to be interesting to see where this goes. Um, obviously, like I said, a lot of this... And even off me in this video, it's a bit of a knee-jerk reaction. But there, are, there has been a reaction off the pro community. And they are very against this change. Because they feel like it's going to bring in Sombra as a must-pick all of the time. And... Right now, the game is quite good with diversity in terms of DPS hero selections and all of that stuff. Only Sombra wasn't really played that much, but now she's almost been given a buff, which is so immense, it's going to thrust her right back into the game. All I'll say to end this video is, if you do get a Sombra on your team, guys, during your placement matches, which I think the competitive opens today, uh, then don't worry about it, because she's probably going to be pretty good. Because if an idiot like me can play her quite well, uh, then probably quite a lot of people can play her quite well. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Silo and this is Unit Lost. Let me know what you think about this new Sombra in the comments below. I think, I don't want to use the word OP, but I think she's very powerful. Very, very powerful. All right, guys, I've been Silo and this is Unit Lost. Oh, she's enjoyable to play. I want to get that out there as well. Get that out there even. She is very enjoyable to play. So in that sense, she's good. But we'll have to wait and see. All right, guys, I've been Silo and this is Unit Lost. If you enjoyed the video, let like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, which is at Unit Lost Gaming, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Do you